Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. And that was ASAP Fat and I on piano, and it's Wednesday. Yeah, Happy I'm, Wednesday, everyone. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to go for a thing because, you know, like my, uh, a lot of times my morning is just like, okay, horse smile. So I, I just think that I, I have, uh, so I just think in my mind that I, I, I know something that you don't know, and that's how I get a smile going on. I'm like, <laughs> Scott! <little smile. laughs> It's not going on here. Classic um, Scott. Classic th- Scott. Well, it's the only way that, you know, is like, I just like to pretend like I um, know something that people don't know. Um, so we uh, have a guest on today. We do. Um, ben Weiss from the uh, Bike Pedestrian Group as well. Mm-hmm. Um, we have some new programming that we're going to show on MCAT. We have all sorts of wonderful things happening. But I am going to, we're going to just break our regular tradition. And we're going to actually throw to ASAP if yes. ASAP wants to play a nice little song for us. Sure. Okay, great. Yeah. You See? Mean, uh, just tell me when. All right, Go take ahead. it away, ASAP. Oh, okay, sure. Um, I haven't done this one in a while. Santa Lucia again. Sometimes those random melodies are always necessary, especially on a Wednesday. Yeah, it's always nice to like we have a piano player. We gotta utilize <laughs> yeah, it a little more. Yeah. <laughs> that Thank is called know. Santa Lucia, isn't yeah. it? But you guys, uh, I know it's walk and roll week and it, you're yeah. encouraged to ride your bike and go outside and all that stuff, but be aware that it's gonna be basically raining all week during this week. Yeah. And of course today, if it isn't already raining, it's going to rain because it is a 90% chance of rain. Your current temperature is 52, but your high is only going to get up to 61, and it's basically going to stay this way all week long, all through the weekend. Just yeah. All uh, when I it. was coming into work this morning, the sky looked darker than usual, which I don't know how things can look blacker than black. Yeah. But they did. But it was really windy. But surprisingly enough, Tuesday stayed as clear as it lo- as long as it could mm-hmm. until you know just overnight where yep. it rained. Yeah. So, you never know, but fall is upon us. Today is actually the first official day of fall. Today? September 21st. Yep, first official day of fall, so it makes sense that it's raining. And also, today, I'm really excited because one of my best friends has been living in South America for the past six months, and today I get to pick her up from the airport. Yeah. And she's going to move back home for a little while, oh, and wait, I'm so excited. Was she in her tropical rain season? Because if it was raining down there, then coming up here would be like kind of like, it's just colder. Sure. I don't think so. I think that it was just like warm and humid the whole time because she was there from March until, you know, today. Wow. So that was like, I don't really know what it's like down there in the summer for us. Cause Cause I know like if you're, if you're especially in the tropical arid areas, it's either you have a wet and a dry season. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Yeah. I'll report back on Friday. <laughs> but of course, uh, if you want to find out more information about the weather and all that stuff, you just go to nationalweatherservice.gov. But if you want to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice for me to write it out twice. You can like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at wakeupmissoula. Missoula. We'll tweet you back. Oh, excuse me, Scott. Sorry. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. We have a Facebook page. You can like us on that. And to find out more information, go to MCAT.org. And if you guys see that lovely photo on the front, our Saturday animations are back. So for every Saturday from 1 to 5, it's only $10 to drop off your child. And we do stop motion as well as some live action. Or if you only want to do like a half day and try it out, you can come from 1 to 3. Yeah, well, or 3 last to 5. Saturday we had 9, like mm-hmm. nine, ten kids. And we really haven't done any advertising. None. And like we've zero. Had, we just talked about it on our show. I guess that's advertising. Yeah. But so it's been really, really fun though. It's been a great turnout. We've had a great time. Um, my only thing is that I think we need more cameras. Yes. yes, definitely. We need more cameras for yeah. that. And the kids um, love doing live action, which I think is so funny. Mm-hmm. They love running around and filming each other. I don't. They did like a Russian newscast over the weekend. <laughs> I was a Southern Weathered Girl. Oh yeah. I was a Southern Weather Girl. We still have to. We still, in it, Russia. It still has to be edited. So yeah. It does. Like I, I, I um, 
we had I checked out the computer that had the footage on there, but I imported the footage to our computer. Oh, good. So it's all on here if you want to work on it, or I also told Neil if he wants to work on it. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, today is the first day of flagship, so oh. all my after school programs start today, and I have it also tomorrow. So today is my Hellgate High School, so I'm going to bring the Hellgate High School kids to MCAT, show them around, some all that stuff. It seems like a lot of the repeats and the, some, and some new kids, nice. but a lot of the same kids we had last year as well. And tomorrow is uh, Washington Middle School flagship, so I'm excited for that. And I expect to show you guys plenty of um, fantastic videos the next uh, mini Friday, flagship Friday videos. <laughs> coming up. Yep, coming up pretty <laughs> soon. Um, of course, uh, it is autumn, and I do have some Hallmark or Bullmark themed mm. autumn um, original movies. Nice. Or are they? <laughs> but um, I do want to bring things down a little bit because we want to we want to um, chill out, even out. I want to um, pay you some respects to an old board yeah. member, Mike Fellows, who uh, recently passed. Mm -hmm. um, so Mike Fellows was our treasurer here at MCAT, and he got into a two collision car accident on Monday night and has passed away. So um, this is Mike Fellows. He did Libertarians Live on MCAT. Uh, it started off as a Libertarians. Um, program where he invited all the libertarians from Missoula to talk about it. It was a call-in show for a long time, but he's been a huge av advocate for the Liber Libertarian Party. And this year is definitely one of the better years to be a libertarian because a lot of Republicans are definitely jumping ship and joining the Libertarian Party. Mm -hmm. And from what I hear, even some of my Republican friends are uh, trying to wow. are going to be voting for uh, Gary Johnson just to expand the party, mm -hmm. not necessarily for Gary Johnson. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Yeah, nice. I mean, this is the perfect time um, for anybody to uh, jump ship and um, increase the, mm -hmm. the Libertarian Party. But I'm not advocating for one thing or another. None of my um, comments reflect City of Missoula, Mu Charter Communications, or um, Missoula Community Access Television. Their so own yeah. personal opinion. But it's, it, it's, it's a nice sentiment. Um, he was mm -hmm. with MCAT for such a long time. Um, you know, Libertarians believe in limited government. Yep, yep. All right, so that about does it there let's uh, bring it back up and we're gonna have uh, I have a lot of new programming it is the final programming of the International Choir Festival oh, so it's the good. last okay. International Choir Festival video we have all of them on our website you can see them at any time MCAT.org video on demand uh, but this is the last one it's gonna be premiering at 5 p.m. today we have uh, another edition of the city band it's part three of I believe 11 and then of course we have uh, the pain conference which happens tomorrow night on MCAT. So without further ado, here's all the new programming and when we come back we'll have Ben Weiss on the sh on our show, Wake Up Missoula. <laughs> presentation contains. I really want to hammer um, the point, uh, Mark had mentioned this a little bit as well with liquid chromatography, we call that confirmatory testing. I'd really like to spend a bit of time in understanding sort of those dip tests or those instant read cups versus something like confirmatory testing. 
So that's one of the objectives. I want to show you not only how that type of testing can help, but the differences between the two modalities. Hey, we're here with NYC is the Bicycle Pedestrian Program Manager for the City of Missoula, and he's talking about Walk and Roll Week. So please tell us, what kind of stuff is going on right now? Well, um, there are breakfasts happening. So if you are getting ready to get out the door right now and uh, you're itching, there's, I think, nine or eight commuter breakfasts happening all over town from... Uh, Oh, I passed one on my way in at the north side overpass, but there's a, there's a map on our website that shows where they all are. Um, but basically, different businesses and organizations are coming together and uh, volunteers are offering free coffee and treats to anyone who's biking or walking by. There's one at the transfer center too to catch those people riding the bus. Yeah, so we're on your website right now um, if you want to kind of talk us through it. Yeah, sure. So the website is walkandrollmissoula.com. And if you, uh, at the top there, there's some uh, icons, including in the, right in the middle, there's an activities map. And so if you were to click on that, it takes you to uh, a Google map of um, where all of the things happening all week are. And what the, the week is, is it's, uh, we, you know, we celebrate people's choices to bike, walk, bus, or otherwise get around some other way than alone in a vehicle. And so businesses and organizations and uh, public agencies are coming together to offer discounts and giveaways uh, and really incentives for people um, to try biking, walking, busing, skateboarding, carpooling, again, some other way. Uh, we changed the name. This used to be called Bike Walk Bus Week, and mm -hmm. we changed the name to Walk and Roll to acknowledge all the different ways that people can, can get to their destinations, That uh, whether you're using a wheelchair or mobility-assisted device or inline skates or nice. whatever there's uh there's many ways to roll there's many Ooh. ways to roll exactly and missoula nice. definitely knows how to roll mm -hmm. for sure <laughs> Rollers with the homies. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually my question is can you kind of tell us about your rebranding yeah. and why you guys rebranded i i think it's really cool the so new look. it's been 25 years of yeah. bike walk bus week and so we said you know it's um it's time to freshen this up a little bit and really get a, uh, be more inclusive of the university. So the university has always had a simultaneous event to Bike Walk Bus Week that they call Walk and Roll. Mm. And um, so we thought, hey, let's keep that name. It's a little hipper, a little fresher. And, um, and then also, like I said, to acknowledge all of the different ways that that we like to roll to our destinations. And so how did this get started 25 years ago? Um, you know, I'm really not sure. I know that um, it's something that, uh, so Missoula, uh, going back even further, Missoula is like one of the first communities in the country that really started promoting biking and walking for mm -hmm. transportation. Um, and now everyone does it, uh, but we were one of the first places to have someone do the job that I do. And so, um, us in Boulder, Colorado, and a couple of Davis, California, and a couple places like that. But um, I think that those people, like the early professionals in this field, got together and said, hey, let's try and engage the business community and get people to uh, give some rewards to people who bike, walk, and bus. And so um, it's just grown and grown and grown. I, the first year, there were just a, a couple things going on. And um, now there's, last count, there were 80 events this week, I think, wow. that were happening. Uh, from you know discounts and free coffees at uh, restaurants and bakeries to um, giveaways at the good food store to uh, I believe even one of the breweries gave away pint glasses on Monday and so there's uh, all sorts of stuff going on for people of all ages and abilities and um, like for example we're having a ride this afternoon called uh, the mayor's the inaugural mayor's bike ride and so um, we did just learn yesterday that the mayor's unable to join us, but <laughs> uh, he was he was good. He was planned. He was he was really bummed that he couldn't make it. But um, the there will be some city council members there. Nice. Uh, the goal is to just have a pretty easy, leisurely bike ride and foster a conversation between city staff and um, and the public about what we could do to make it better for biking in town. I think that's important. And there's also something also really exciting happening to, um, tomorrow as well. It's the uh, mountain lion. It's like a competition between oh, yeah, bike the, riders. The amazing race is what, uh, is what they're calling it. So it's um, teams of two, and um, there's a kind of a list of errands that need to be run or maybe like scavenger hunt items that need to be found. 
and you need to, as a team of two, you need to use both the bus and your bike. Uh, and so um, there are, people are already planning their routes and stuff, but for signups and information on that, you can uh, find the event on Facebook and, um, and reach out to Mountain Line too. Is it Walk and Roll on Facebook? Yes, Walk and Roll Missoula is our Facebook page. Awesome. Great. And so people can find out more information just on your website? Just on the website. We have, if you go back to the website, um, there's an event schedule. And so if you scroll down just on the, the front page there, uh, it's set up by Missoula Events. But all of those things that you see are all related to Walk and Roll Missoula. This is, um, so we have our own calendar made. Uh, there's one, there's a 25% discount at Ear Candy. Um, Betty's is offering discounts. A carousel is probably offering free or reduced rides. Um, so there's, yeah, just absolutely tons of stuff going on. Uh, and it's not all downtown either. There's stuff down the Brooks Corridor. There's even stuff out on North Reserve this year. And so, um, yeah, REI, had, they've yeah. been itching to be a part of it for a while. And so this year <laughs> they just stepped up and yeah. said, you know what, we're going to do it. So, That's um, awesome. yeah. If you bike here, you get Amazing deals. Or yeah, I don't know exactly what their <laughs> offer is, but it's, uh, I'm sure it's something. It's amazing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> awesome. Was there anything else you want to tell us before we let you go? You know, I guess the final thing is that this Saturday, the, the final day of Walk and Roll Missoula, is um, going to be Free Cycles' Big Bash. They do a, a festival of cycles that has always been associated with this event where um, basically they have all of their volunteers ever on hand and the whole shop open to the public and everyone is invited to just come and um, work on their bikes or make a bike or fix it up and uh, I know that these events in the past they've made and you know given out over a hundred bikes in a day before so awesome. it's really uh, if you don't have a bike now and you want to ride um, that's a great way to, to get out and do that. All right. That's great. Well is there Thank anything else? Much. No, I think that's it. I really appreciate you guys having me on. So, and so one more time, where can people find more information about you uh, guys? Walkandrollmissoula.com. Awesome. And you guys can see all the activities and events and resources and sponsors. Mm-hmm. Great. Thank you very much, Ben. Yeah, thanks for having me on. We'll be right back after this. At Missoula Aging Services, you'll always be greeted with a warm welcome. Whether you are caring for an aging loved one or you're an older adult yourself, our friendly staff is ready to connect you to the help you need. You will always get unbiased advice, a free assessment of your needs, and personalized information about the resources available. See what we can do for you. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. For too long, corporate tobacco has exploited our people manipulated our practices and profited from our addiction. No more. If you struggle with commercial tobacco addiction, call the American Indian Commercial Tobacco Quit Line today at 1-855-372-0037 and talk to someone who understands. Did you know parking over tall, dry grass can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, we're Hi. back. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank Ben Weiss for coming back uh, on our show just to talk about um, a yeah. walk and roll week. Walk and roll week. And there are lots of events happening. And so actually, my events for today are all about walk and roll week. I figured since Ben was here kind of giving us more information and background info, I'd just give you guys all the events that are going on. Great. And so, yeah. And like you said, there are lots of coffee things happening. But I just didn't talk about it because I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's happening right now. And we're live right now. But right now, we're taking a sidestep a little bit yeah. to... Uh, um, emphasize something that happened in Noel last night. Yeah, yeah, so last night I was at the university and I was filming the lecture on the Congo. And so, of course, there's always questions about it. I um, mean, you know, after the presentations, and it was very interesting. I thought it was great. And so one of the guys had a question. Well, the, this first guy, 
ranted about the university, which had nothing to do with the Congo. And then the second guy got up and decided to speak his mind. So here's what he had to say. And the crowd's reaction is kind of good because, you know, Missoula really stands up for things. <laughs> I just want to say you spent an hour and a half telling us about all the problems that these people have got in their country. And now you're going to dump it on us here in Missoula. Our women won't be able to walk the street. Our kids won't be able to play. Yeah, yeah, just, re just remember, you hoot and howl. You hoot and howl now, but just remember that I said that, okay? Okay. Sit down, I have the mic. Sir, Bye. thank you. Do, you. do you have an actual question? No. Or just a statement. Okay. <laughs> so that's what happened last night. <laughs> angry citizen, angry citizen. But I just like people's reactions. If you guys saw the gal in the front, this lady's face was just like, <gasps> Yeah. But I was saying last night that as a... Well, Missoula doesn't take kindly to hate no, speech. No, but also how I feel. Like, as a 24-year-old woman, I'm more afraid of an entitled football player than any Congolese refugees whatsoever. Or more afraid of that guy. You know, like, I just think that, um, I just wonder what he's afraid of. You know, what he's so afraid of. Maybe the unknown. But I just thought they were, Crow's reaction was funny. And then he was so angry. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's, it's funny, like, uh, in terms, like, um, like, with a lot of refugees and a lot of people mm -hmm. coming into town, I think they're just so grateful to be out of a place where they could be killed at any moment. Exactly. And, like, you know, if it was happening to us and we were fleeing and we needed a place to go, that guy, for sure, you would know he would want someone to take him in. So he's just lucky that he doesn't have to experience that. And so that lecture um, on the Congo will be on MCAT in about a month and a half. And so I'll let you guys know. I had several questions about when it was going to be on. So it was really interesting and it was really important. And I think it's good for all of us to understand and uh, be more aware and know how to make our refugees, you know, feel more welcome. Because, you know, if it was us, we would want someone to treat us the same. And, and even if the worst case scenario were to come up, we'd find a way to deal with it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we, we don't let anything stand. If anything goes wrong, everything gets dealt with. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. Whether we like to admit it or not, there's there's always a lot of issues <laughs> happening around in and around town, and we've always dealt with it um, with a very elegant grace here mm -hmm. in Missoula. Yep. Very true. We don't tend to put our head in the dirt. <laughs> like an ostrich. Yes. So, okay. Yep. That's that's that, and and, and like the controversies are going to continue on it and will. on for sure. It will, but I mean, as long as like the community as a whole can be welcoming and just you know knock aside those few people, that'll be hateful. Cool. Yeah. So what do you got for us today, Noel? So I've got. I wanted to talk about some trending things today. So if you guys have heard, um, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie filed for divorce, wow. which the whole world, I guess, has been turning to look at Jennifer Aniston to see her reaction. Oh. Brad Pitt yeah. left her. For Angelina Jolie. Yeah. yeah. But one thing that I thought was very... It's called uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smithing. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They were in this movie together. And that's when Brad like left her. Yeah. And for Angelina Jolie. So Angelina Jolie filed for divorce. But I thought it was great because, you know, everyone is looking to Jennifer Aniston for what is she going to do? What's her reaction? I like all these tabloids. It's like Adele. Right, like, yeah. Uh, um... Adele is upset. Yeah. yeah. But I thought it was good because if you guys didn't hear on my... They adopted like 500 children yeah. and they had like three. Yeah, I don't know who's going to get it. But if you guys didn't hear on Monday, there was another shooting of an unarmed black man in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And so everyone like that, I hadn't even heard about that until I read an article where Jennifer Anderson cussed everyone out and said, why aren't you guys paying attention to that rather than looking to me for my reaction? Yeah. So I thought that was really, really womanly of her. And I was just like, yeah, Jennifer Aniston, you continue to be one of my favorites. Because, you know, instead of, I don't know, people need to be more aware. Like, less about me, me, yeah, me, and, and more about them, yeah. them, them. Yeah, so while this man is getting shot for no reason, people are paying attention to the fact that Angelina and Brad are divorcing. So that's one trending topic. Uh, let's see. Another one, I'm on the Today Show website, so these are the trending things according to the Today Show. It looks like a uh, the maid of honor carried a bride's dying dog down the aisle in a beautiful ceremony. Aww. That's so nice. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, yeah, we all know that the actress who played Liesl in Sound of Music, she died at 73, as Asaph told us on Monday, so that's sad. Yeah. 
you know, mostly it's just about celebrities on here, and I don't think those are newsworthy. So I guess we're going to move on. <laughs> but now I've got some events, and the events I have are in honor of Walk and Roll Week. Yes. So this is what you guys can expect today if you bike, walk, or bus. So starting at 9 a.m. at the University of Montana in the UC, they have fun activities for sharing your commute experience. They'll have prizes. They'll have bike ambassadors. You'll be able to get more information. I bet they'll have bike lights. I bet they'll have brochures and pamphlets you can read. I bet they'll have lots of information. So if you're a student and you don't can't really get out into the community because of your classes, you can go to UC and they'll have lots of information. At Adventure Cycling, if you bike, walk, or bus there, you will get a free six-month membership. Um, and you can also get a free keychain, which is kind of fun. And then at the Jeanette Rankin Peace Center, you can create your own t-shirt that starts at 10 a.m. And then a carousel from Missoula, as Ben Weiss uh, correctly guessed, they will be doing free carousel rides uh, starting at 11. And then at the Good Food Store, they have all things bike. So you can get your bike checked out by Free Cycles. You can get a low-cost helmet from St. Pat's and bike laws and information from the Missoula Bicycle Ambassadors. It'll be located in the parking lot of the Good Food Store. And then over at the Zoo Town Arts Community Center, uh, you can get 15% off all pottery in your Paint Your Pottery Studio uh, for everyone who bikes, walks, or buses. That starts at 11 and goes until 6. And then at the Rhino, you can enter to win a new Belgium Cruiser. That starts at 11, and that is happening all day long. Um, and then at Freestone Climbing Center, if you bike with a buddy to Freestone, you can get two-for-one day passes. Um, and Freestone members will get a... Uh, ooh, Freestone members will get a free Gatorade. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then... <laughs> can't wait. I love Gatorade. Yeah. And then, Powerade's better. <laughs> like the worst thing. Yeah, right. They're watching. <laughs> Gatorade's watching us. <laughs> Ever since we started doing that sports segment, Gatorade took an interest in us. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, the following places that I'm going to be talking about, you can get discount at these places if you wipe, wipe, walk, bike, or bus. So Betty's Divine, 20%. Frame of Mind, you can get a free delivery on any custom DIY framing project. 10% uh, off at Shakespeare. Bicycle hanger, buy one, get one light. Golgi Clinic, which is a holistic clinic. You get 25% off new patient visit. Ear Candy is 25% off. Imagination is half off first beer. And at Pita Pit and Takusano, you can get $2 off of your meal. And then, uh, as Ben was telling us earlier, there's a mayor's bike race starting at 5.30, but the mayor won't be there, <laughs> which I think is the funniest thing I have heard at least all morning. Yeah, they could maybe like Skype, in it, Skype him in via an could, iPad. Right? They could. Just have like iPad and he's like rolling on like a Segway or whatever. I saw that last night, Scott. At that, at the, at the Congo lecture, over in the corner, there were these iPads on stands that were like kind of moving back and forth, and there were people in them. It was crazy the have whole you, time. I have never actually seen those I, in my life. Me either. Me either. And the whole time, I was just like, like filming, and I'd look over and be like, oh my god, yeah, the, I could see one people. of them, and I thought it was weird because one of them was like, was like swaying gently, like back and forth, and I thought that was really weird. Like, why would it do that? Why is it swaying? Because it's one of those iPads on wheels that go around. So yeah. it's like, if you're agoraphobic, it's the agoraphobic's um, best case solution yeah. to um, deny their treatment. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. So there are three of them. And I wanted to talk to the people that had them, but they left before I left. They just so. rolled away. Yeah, they just rolled away. Yeah. Like, oh, come back here. But I did have a really fun um, discussion and rant in the bathroom with a bunch of older ladies. <laughs> That's the best way to have them. It was really fun, yeah. <laughs> and then my last event for Walk and Roll today is a Ladies Funky Soul Bike Ride. And so that is going to be, that's going to start at the Red X's. Um, so, you know, dance moves and bicycles are required. And so they just want you to, you know, it's funky. It might be more fun than the mayor's ride since the mayor's not going to be there. Maybe the mayor will be at this one. Yeah. <laughs> but for Walk and Roll Week, that's what's going on. You guys can check out walkandroll.com, I do believe. Here, I'll show you guys the website. Check this out. And then, like Ben said, all the event schedule I got from missoulaevents.net. Yeah, and so now we are going to. That's what I've got for you guys for today. Now we're going over to musical notes with Asaph Hat or Night. Well, before I start this musical notes, I wanted to also remember Libertarian House candidate Mike Fellows. My condolences to his family, and as Noel mentioned, we lost him in a 
vehicle crash uh, near Potomac Monday. And he was also a dedicated member of the MCAT board, so he's going to be greatly missed. Mm -hmm. Also, we lost actor Walter Brennan in 1974 at the age of 80. For those who might remember him, his two best works was a western called The Guns of Will Sonnet and a comedy called The Real McCoy. So, boy, I'm dating myself with that one, Walter <laughs> Brennan fans. Anyway, on a brighter note, if you were to have home improvement done to your home, you probably would not want Tim the two-man tailor to work on your home. But if you wanted a very funny comedian to entertain at your party, or if you wanted Santa to visit your home on Christmas, then you would want our guest on today's musical notes, Timothy Allen Dick, known to the world as Tim Allen, and there he is, the tool man himself. <laughs> <laughs> and that was such a funny show, that home improvement. In fact, the funniest episode I ever saw was the one when he was trying to teach his son about working on the electrical outlets in his home. <laughs> and he sticks his little screwdriver in the outlet and he gets electrocuted temporarily. So he looks at his son and he walks away all calm in pain and he goes out in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> That was a, such a funny show, that Home Improvement. <laughs> nice, Seth. I love that rendition of it. Yeah. <laughs> that reenactment. Well, I know. I can't really uh, imitate Tim Allen. But to tell you a few things about him very quickly, Tim Allen is, uh, and he's an American actor and comedian, and he's known, as I stated, for playing Tool, the Tool Man, Tim the Tool Man Taylor on ABC television show Home Improvement from 1991 to 1999 as well as starring in roles in you know several films including Disney's The Santa Claus Trilogy. He also starred in Disney Pixar's Toy Story Trilogy. Why not something? Six movies like that. Th you know, two sets of three trilogy movies. Yeah. And he also did Galaxy Quest in 1999 and he is currently here in 2011. Well, he starred as Mike Baxter on the television series Last Man Standing, which I believe is still running. He was born in um, Denver, Colorado. And what's interesting is in Home Improvement, he was earning 1.2 million per episode. Wow, I need to fix up homes too. Yeah, right? <laughs> but that's pretty cool. I mean, Tim Allen is a very funny guy and there's so many things that you can look up on him and uh, your audience can go back in time and look up anything on Tim Allen. Yeah, yeah. he's been around a yeah. lot. Yeah, so I'm yeah. going to stop on that note. I'm going to stop on a positive note with one of the funniest comedians in history. He is. And is Tim still Allen. current, still around. And yeah. so yeah. We're, Asaf and I were talking about how he's 63. Yeah, he is 63. And he's I, still going strong. Like, for some reason, I always think of Tim Allen as, like, being in his 40s. Well, yeah, because you, <laughs> you always know? think of that character um, on Home Improvement. Yeah, but. you do. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. getting up there starting to nice. now. And so how did he get his start? Do you know? Um, just doing stand-up comedy, stand -up. and he went to um, the University of Michigan. Okay, cool. What he's really known for it was Home Improvement. Yeah, yeah, and then, I think that's when he hit his stride. Yeah, uh, and then of course you know with like uh, Toy Story and Pixar and stuff like yeah. that, he started going through there, and then he got in, um, in touch with Disney, and then of course with Disney, you uh -huh. you pretty much have to do a whole bunch of movies with Disney. If you do one movie with Disney, you're pretty much contracted. Do five yeah. Yeah. They, they, that's what it's it's interesting because Disney contracts you for like five or six movies yeah. mm -hmm. at a time. Uh -huh. It's like you can't just do one movie for Disney; you have to do a whole buttload. Of <laughs> well, Tim Disney. Allen sure succeeded with Disney, so yeah, I'm sure he's done not only Disney but the world proud with his comedy. Yep. He's a very funny guy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Asa. Sure. Has musical notes with Asa out of nine. And so it looks like we've got an art clip. This is going to be at the Clay Studio, and it ends next week on September 30th. Oh, but before we show it, I, I got a chance to actually meet the curator, the person who runs oh, cool. um, the Clay Studio of Missoula. And it was during the, um, let's see, I did Look Before You Speak, and it's oh, nice. uh, Shailene uh, Venezuela. Oh, cool. And of course, I, I would actually like to show a little bit of uh, Look Before You Speak, just sure. before, just you know, give you a scope of you know, what she's all about. 
That sounds great, Scott. So here is Look Before You Speak, and then I'm going to show you the art clip from the Clay Studio. Come to us, have also been residents at the Archie Bray mm -hmm. Foundation, mm -hmm. or have gone there afterwards. So it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. You see these cross connections because I was there as a resident before I ever came here. Mm -hmm. Alison Ranchos was there as a resident. Courtney Murphy was there as a resident. Sure. And so, and then we've sent like residents. Perry Haas is now a resident at the Archie Bray Foundation, and it's like you can actually do six years worth of residencies <laughs> in the state of Montana. Do we have one more image? Yes, we do. Okay. And so this is a work by Renee Brown. She was an artist, long-term artist in residence, I believe, um, yes, it was from 2008 to 2010 at the Clay Studio of Missoula. And her work is, um, well, it's sort of in the same vein of Spill, where there is a transition, but with Renee's, it was a very stark transition. Mm -hmm. uh, she, well, there's her work that she was focusing on as a resident uh, was fun functional pottery, uh, a lot of... All right, so yeah, th you can see the whole program um, coming up, uh, I believe either, it's either this month or next month. It's the newest installment of... Uh, and so when speak. do those air? They usually air, from what I've seen, is Thursdays. Thursdays, awesome. Um, cool. And it's, so it's an art appreciation show with the former curator of the Missoula Art Museum, Stephen Glukert, that Scott films every other week, every two weeks. Uh, it, it, it's been a while, but the next one is uh, slated to air um, October 21st October 21st. This one is supposed to be airing on October 21st, and of course you get a whole list of all look before you speak by logging on to MCAT's video on demand page by clicking on this t this tab up here, right right around here, <laughs> and it brings you to this nice little page. And of course, I typed in look before, and then of course you have all these programs that have been here. And this is to promote the arts in Missoula, and it, it brings artists mm -hmm. and um, curators of museums to talk about other art. Yep. It's not just about their own art because you don't want it because um, from what Steve Boy says is that it's very stale to talk about an artist statement because it's basically an artist trying to sell themselves mm -hmm. but it's always better to talk about art and the artist and where they're coming from from the outside's perspective. Yep, this is I a very agree. outside um, perspective of all the art. Mm -hmm. So that's what I like about this thing and of course you know that was another sidestep because today was all about sidestepping. Um, so when we come back, um, we'll have more events with Noelle McAvoy. But first, here is the uh, official art clip from the Clay Studio, which will end uh, by the end of this month. events um, happening for tomorrow so this time it's just thing general things going on in Missoula so at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center at 9 a.m. 
They have a Facebook pages for businesses and organizations class. So social media is really important and really crucial for your business and for advertising and engaging in the community and with the community. If you, you know, everything happens from clients and fans and people that want to get to know you and want to know who you are and what you do. So social media presence is very important. So the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center has got a class. It'll be Thursdays, two Thursdays, the 22nd and the 29th from nine to noon, $83. And they'll tell you how to really amp up your Facebook presence, your social media presence, and what to do with that. Um, so this is the festival book, Montana Festival of the Book this week. So lots of things going on. Um, and starting at the Missoula Art Museum, they've got a festival author workshop with Nance Van Winkle. It starts at 10 a.m. She, uh, she's going to lead a free workshop on combining text with visual materials to create compelling multimedia pieces. And so registration for this workshop is available online at montanabookfestival.org. Also at the Missoula Art Museum, they've got art guide training at 10 a.m. Art guides will tour additional exhibits with the senior curator, Brandon Rentes, and they'll also practice using visual thinking strategies and discuss how to engage fifth graders in the art experience because they often work a lot with the fifth graders. Now at the Providence Center, we've got our NAMI Missoula, Weeking, Missoula, NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting. Uh, it starts at 10 a.m. It's a free weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness. Then at the Living Center at Red Willow, they have a Basics of Resilience class. It starts at 11. Um, it's a free workshop from 11 to 1 tomorrow. And what it is, it's they'll explore what makes us resilient and how we can build on the basic ability that each of us carries. The Missoula Art Museum has lots of things going on tomorrow. They've got a printing demonstration at noon. Um, Aaron Parrott from Ter Ter Territorial Press will demonstrate letterpress printing on an 1890 Gordon job and printing press. That's awesome. Then over at Buttercup, uh, they've got a visibility bling, kind of like a little happening tomorrow. It starts at one. So you can add a piece of reflective tape to your favorite coat, shirt, or pants. You can bring it in and they'll sew it on. Um, reflective tape will be provided, so it's like one, per, one piece of tape per item of clothing. But if you want to buy an entire pack of reflective tape, they'll have that for purchase. And then um, they're also are going to be doing mending. So they'll have some ladies doing sewing and mending. So I think that's a great idea. So that'll be a buttercup that's in the university district. Then at NAMI Missoula, we've got our NAMI Connection Support Group. This is a free weekly support group for adults living with mental illness. Then at the Hilton Garden Inn, they have a state genealogy conference. It's a three-day event with a tour, lectures, and optional banquet. So that'll be starting at 1.30, and like they said, it'll go th for three days. At the Missoula Art Museum, they have an exhibiting artist lecture, Leslie Van Stavern Miller II. Um, they're going to be talking about her recently published book, The First Queen Elizabeth Time Travels to Montana, as part of her Missoula Art Museum's exhibit. Yeah. Missoula Public Library has a couple things going on. They've got their computer electronics in their makerspace starting at 3 o'clock until 6. And then at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they're going to be painting pet rocks. So you can go in and make a cute little rock critter. Yeah. I have painted a rock once. Me too. This is really fun. I didn't know what to think of. At the time, <laughs> Scott had no idea what was going on. I was like, painted rock is like. What? what I'm is done. This? Am I done? Am I? Am I? Uh, can I go now? This is terrible. <laughs> am I? Am I? Can I? Can I? Can I stop? Can I, get, can I go now, mom? Can I, oh. Mom, I'm bored. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, so this next thing, I said. I think this is really cool. So uh, there's another exhibiting artist lecture by Courtney Blazon. She has a very distinct art style. And so you guys have definitely seen her work around. Um, and so her exhibit is called The Summer, The Year Without a Summer, which is inspired from an 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora on the island of Sumbawa in present day Indonesia. Uh, this is one of the most powerful eruptions in recorded history. And so her talk is going to be about the literal, the literary and historical points of departure that have informed the imagery for her vivid exhibition. And so I just, uh, they had some of the background of this explosion, so I just wanted to read it to you guys because it's really interesting and really intense. And so the explosion was heard 1,600 miles away 
I sheared off 1,400 feet, the top third of the mountain, and shroud a 370-mile area in pitch darkness for days, and stripped the island of all vegetation and created tsunami waves 13 feet high that pounded nearby islands. It also, so the ash column spread miles into the air and traveled around the globe, and then so several factors interacted systematically as well and resulted in significant climate change and extreme weather the following year. And so it has been go it has become known to it has come to be known as a year without a summer. So ash smothered crops or burnt them with acid rain, resulting in a short growing season and worldwide harvest failures, a widespread starvation throughout Asia and Europe, um, as was caused by minimal crop production and rising food crops crops yeah so that like a really intense thing that's crazy and i didn't know that this ever had happened so courtney blazon's uh art installation is kind of like inspired is inspired by this so you guys can check that out uh her lecture will be at five o'clock at the art museum tomorrow and then this is this thing I'm filming tomorrow, which will be kind of fun. There's a Missoula Barbecue Festival Beginners Barbecue Class. It starts at 5:30. Um, it's gonna be from 5:30 to 8, and it's gonna be at the old. It's gonna be at the um, at the Missoula College. It says the Missoula County Fairgrounds, but I believe it'll be at the Missoula College, and it'll be in the main building in their kitchen. So you guys will be able to check that out. And it's $35 per person, but it's open to the public. And then. Uh, at the Good Food Store, they've got a cooking class starting at 6.30. It's called the Basics of Bone Broth. It's only $25. The Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center has a Seeing Light for Photography class at 6.30. This will be from the 22nd of September until November 3rd, and it's only $47. Yeah, and then REI has got a class. Um, there is a travel light class, so they're going to teach you how to travel light and be able to keep all your things on you, but travel lightly with them. So if you guys want to sign up for that class, you can go to this website. Um, you know how obscure and vague that is, but you can <laughs> register there. And if you guys don't, you know, didn't see it fast enough right there when I showed it to you, just go to MissoulaEvents.net or go to REI.com and you can register. And then we have two more events. Uh, the first one is Country Dance Lessons with Kathy Clark at the Cernerai Saloon at 7 o'clock. For only $5, she'll teach you how to boogie and rock and roll and, you know, do your country swing all over the dance floor. And then at the Roxy Theater, they've got a, a movie. It's called Heart Worn Highways. It starts at 8. And so there's a filmmaker that profiles country music outlaws like Guy Clark, Towns Van Zandt, and David Allen Coe. So that's what's going on in your community. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, The Independent, or The Missoulian for more events. Yeah, and yep. so now it's Wednesday, and so middle of the week, you know, kind of rainy. I don't know. The weekend yep. is almost upon us. Yes. But you know what it is upon us. Uh, I'll tell you what's upon. What's, what's going on, Scott? Uh, the, the upon that is on us today is Hallmark or... Bill Mark. Yeah! <laughs> I know something you don't know. And this is uh, Hallmark or Bill Mark. I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I? And you guys will determine whether or not it's a real Hallmark movie or it's complete Bill Mark hogwash. Not true. Not real. And of course, this is a perfect time because a whole bunch of new movies are coming out for the fall season. And it's a good time to mix that up with a little bit of bullmark or not. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> when the harvest season becomes too much for Abby, she must take some time off from the farm. Much to her family's surprise, she decides to take a vacation in the big city. But before she leaves, she meets Daniel, the handsome handyman. When she finds out that her grandma hired Daniel, to help out on the farm, she suspects her grandma is trying to keep her around. When Abby will, Ab wait, wait, will Abby learn to open her heart and let Daniel in, or will she be leave before <laughs> harvest season is over? And the movie's called Harvest Season. <laughs> oh, how romantic! Nope. <laughs> um, grandma might totally, totally set him up. Man, <laughs> you I can't trust those grandmas. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say, ooh, I'm gonna say Bullmark. <laughs> I'm gonna say, say Bullmark. Bull yeah. I'm gonna say Hallmark. You're gonna say Hallmark? Yeah. Okay. What is it, Scott? Well, Noel, 
You're right. Yeah! <laughs> yes. It is bull mark. <laughs> <laughs> Complete hogwash, completely made up. Grandma! <laughs> it happens in a lot it of Hallmark happen. movies. Actually, I honestly would like to watch that. Like, I would watch that. I'll make that movie because it's the yeah. first day of flagship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got to go date with If I was, like, bored at home and wanted to watch a chick flick, <laughs> I would definitely watch that. That sounds nice. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to play round two of Hallmark or Bull Mark? Yes. Scott, what do you know that we don't know? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> All right. Uh, hit it ASAP. When the mayor hires a handsome landscaper to cut down a small town's beloved oak tree, Amy takes it upon herself to try and save it by chaining herself to it. <laughs> As the landscaper attempts to wait her out, the two find that the tree brings them more than they could have imagined in love in life. And it's called Love on the Limb. Like, you know, tree limb. <laughs> and, and is it a Hallmark original movie, or is it something that I made up? Ooh, okay, Asaf, you first. What do you think? I'm going to say Bullmark. I'm going to say Bullmark, too. You guys. Yeah. Guys. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 can you ever just just learn to trust? <laughs> What's the truth? It is a Hallmark original movie. Oh. You're both wrong. Oh. It's wow. Love on a Limb, we starring Ashley today. Williams as the uh, the role of the woman. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, the role of the landscaper? No, yeah, yeah. Well, she's, she's a very handsome it's woman. Gender reversal roles. It's, she's a handsome woman. She's a handsome landscaper. Um, that's so funny. The landscaper. <laughs> I would love to watch that, too, because I bet that would be so cheesy and funny. Like, Amy, this, like, crazy hippie that's, like, chained to a tree, and the landscaper is all handsome. is like... Oh girl, I'm gonna cut it down, and they they like probably like joke and laugh and give each other a hard time, and then someone smiles and they fall in love. That sounds fun. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna about to chain my ass to a tree. Oh excuse me, I'm about to chain myself to a tree. Yeah, I can I totally might. see you chain yourself to a tree. I love that. <laughs> you just chain yourself to a random tree to meet these guys. <laughs> hey. You wanna date me? <laughs> Don't mind her. She just changed herself to a tree. She's, she's like, are we even cutting down that tree? He's like, no, no I have no idea what the heck she's talking about. She's just boyfriend. <laughs> she's going through a lot right now. We just gotta humor her. Yeah, just yeah. leave her alone. She's <laughs> a rapper in the. Did you remember? Like she stubbed her toe and you know, she, she just needs attention. Remember right now. when you saw there were like knitting sweaters on trees? Yeah. They'll just do that. I'll just chain myself and someone will knit a sweater on the tree on me. <laughs> For the winter. You just fall asleep and just like, oh. <laughs> And you're just like, no! I'm here forever! And then I'll become a sideshow. I'll be part of the, I'll be part of the circus, and then I'll travel around. <laughs> Tree girl, come one, come all. She tried to find love, but she found herself in the, the making. <laughs> <laughs> She's fused herself to a tree. She lives off the tree, she eats the tree, and she feeds the tree with her own manure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I'll, part is really gross. So I'll you be need, you, you might want to mull over that part. I'll it's be, like, how did she go to the bathroom if she's going to chain herself to a tree? Either a poop bucket, or like, it could be like in the middle of town square. I just have and like everyone a, just kind of like walks by and just like, what are you doing? It's I, just I gotta like, go to the bathroom. It's kind of like a chastity belt, but more of like a bedpan. I guess you'll have to get like a diaper. <laughs> I, I don't think they'll work out the details. I think they're trying to make it as clean as they can for this Hallmark original movie. They probably will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course we had to add our own flair to that. <laughs> but yeah, that's a pretty much it for our show. Uh, so if too. you want more information, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice, we made you write out twice. You can like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at wakeupmissoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter at MCATTVMissoula. We have a Facebook page as well. And to find out more information, just go to MCAT.org. Yep. Right there. Org. And, and you can always email us mcat at mcat.org or you can call us 542-6228, otherwise known as 542. MCAT. And it's a great uh, resource for people who want to talk about their upcoming events, causes, and rallies, just like Ben was here. I just want to thank Ben for joining us for Walk and Roll Week, mm -hmm. formerly known as Bike Walk Bus Week. But of course, uh, thank you guys for joining me, and um, we, it turned out to be a nice long show. Yeah. Like, I could go for another seven minutes, but I'm just like, there's nothing more to talk about. No. There's nothing more. <laughs> Um, but of course, I do want to give some condolences to uh, Mike Fellows and um, family and friends for sure mm -hmm. for uh, a big loss and a it huge is. loss for the Missoula Libertarian Party. I agree, as well as for MCAT. And especially for MCAT. Yeah. So for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McFoy. Here's ASAP 509. We'll see you guys on Friday. Mm -hmm.